yeah hello everybody and welcome back and hope you guys are doing well and enjoying out my videos and uh, we'll be continuing with our previous uh, classes and we have already finished our form designing and we have already added our buttons and and other design to our form already and from today we'll be starting a form template and uh, we'll be uh, developing a form template and uh, we are not actually going to develop a form template it's uh, already a ready-made template that we are going to uh, use it so uh, let's go and start uh, go to our forms let's go and create a, a new form template okay so right click on the forms and you will go to new forms uh, from template so you, not a new form but we are using a new form from a template so template is ready-made template that uh, we are going to use it so we don't have to add in uh, our action tab or grid or, or whatever we need to design our form that's that's are already uh, ready-made in a form template so we are going to use it from now so uh, let's go and create a simple list first okay simple list form Okay, so here is our simple list form and let's just rename it. Okay, and we rename it as a product simple uh, simple list uh, just to for easy name for us to remember. Okay. And save. And if you open it, when you open it, you already have a and two buttons that is one is new and one is delete so we never added any action tab or any uh, button on it but is automatically or in the template is already included uh, these two button on a simple list so let's just go and view our design in the data source or we don't have any data source for us so let's just go and add our data source which is our product table just drag and drop to data source and save it so inside the form design let's go and see inside the form design we already have an action action pan and we already have a uh, groups and we already have two groups custom filter groups and page title group and we also have a grid container right so grid container what we will be doing is uh we'll be adding a, a data source for our grid so make sure you don't forget it okay so let's go and add our data source where is the data source here okay so we'll go and select our product table as a data source now save it and open it okay still now we don't have anything because we haven't added any field to our grid so from uh, product table we'll add a um, okay we'll add one an item id and item name first okay and the barcode let me just add a three field over here okay and let me add the barcode also so we have a three field in our grid view right so save it and we will open our form okay now you can see we have a three field already and when you click at new, uh, you can create a new item already. Okay. And okay, so let's keep a different name and uh, we give as a we will give a new as a green apple and uh, let's give a barcode and so 
we cannot add in because we haven't add our field which is a mandatory field uh, which created date and created time okay so close it or oh, we cannot close this press escape and no okay so we must add in our field over there all right so we will drag and drop all of our field oh sorry from here active buffer buffer we already have the buffer item name right there we start okay so let's just add to our grid okay and let's just go and open our form so we already have a grid view and we already have a two table now if you click on the new button you can actually add in the created date and we have one field missing what is this is one two three four five six seven okay let's create a green apple and barcode let's just give it now okay so created that i will give us uh, five that's twenty it has to zero one seven. Okay. Created it is a little filling on a stock. Okay, let's just save it. Created dead and time field. Okay, we is are still missing one field. So let's just escape it. And we are still missing one field. Okay. Okay, so we just add in our mm, new record and we just today and product is active best price is just 10 and then created date we just the product status on the item ID let's just keep a random number and item name I will give a green apple and the barcode we give as a one two three four five okay. and we also give them to the so we just give a random number and just uh, set the record and we just close it and reopen it so our green apple is already created over here and let's just uh, go and try to delete one record see whether this button is working out so i just created this one okay. and just uh, delete it are you sure you want to be which means um, the delete button is working right and uh, so what we we'll go and see over here is our button which we have uh, in our accent pen and accent pen tab and we go to group button we have two command button one is new and one is delete okay so if you see command is delete and another one if you see command is new okay so this is how we create a simple template uh, for a template we don't have to design everything ourselves like uh, in the previous form what we when we create a new form we have to add in a, a accent tab read view and a command button a button whatever you want to add in you have to add yourself and design yourself right but for the template what we just select the template and we can use the template and modify it 
it's more faster for your development and if you are designing a new form or doing um, uh, some you want you want to speed up your development uh, process so at that time we uh, can go and use our uh, form template which is predefined in a bio system so i think uh, guys you understand this video and hope you enjoyed this one and if you have any questions just uh, let me know and thank you and thank you for watching